Welcome to Quick Tips for ThinkorSwim. I'm Connie Hill, Senior Manager Derivatives and Trading at Charles Schwab. Today's quick tip is to learn how to run a scan for bullish stocks. I call it my early morning movers bullish scan. Frequently, I'll post some of the results of this scan into my X account. You need to know what we talk about is for education and information only. Do not consider it a recommendation. Options carry a high level of risk and are not suitable for all investors. We're going to start out here on the scan tab and we're going to choose the tool stock hacker this is what stock hacker looks like when you initially come into it so we're going to just take this criteria that's kind of in a shell and work from here on this first variable from the stock filter we're going to change this net change to last and last means the last price of the stock so we're going to set it at ten dollars Next up is volume. Now the volume from the stock filter only brings in today's volume. So if you're running this first thing in the morning, you might not have a lot of activity. So we're going to go ahead, click on the X, remove that. We'll bring in volume in a different way. Today's percent change. We're going to put on here that the stocks have to be up at least one and a half percent. Now we're going to come over here to the add filter. We're going to select on the study filter three times and as a reminder the study filter does not work in paper money so you would have to create this in your live site then bring the results over to your paper money account to experiment with first thing we're going to do here is get our average volume so we're going to come down to volume just choose average volume instead of 50 days we're going to say let's just do it over the last 30 days and then we're looking for the volume on average to be greater than we're going to drop that 1 million down to 500,000. If you're an options trader, you might choose to use a million or 2 million on it. Now, the next two variables are going to help us with trend. And really, trend is nothing more than the price changing on the stock. So we're going to go to price performance, price change. We're going to do this twice because we're going to set up a couple of different time frames. Now, on this first price change, we're going to look for the stock to be at least 15% greater than it was 62 days ago. Now, that's about a trading, trading a quarter's worth of activity there. This second one, for a short or term type trend, we're going to look for the stock to, to be up at least 5% over the last 21 days, which is essentially a month. Let's change the number of results, see if we get more back than 50. If you like the scan and want to reuse it, go ahead off to the right of the sizzle index, click on the icon and select save scan query. Give it a good name you'll recognize. Again, I call mine early morning movers bullish scan. Let's go ahead and see how many results we get back here. Looks like at the moment it is giving us 34 different stocks. Now I want you to know these stocks can be used for a watch list and then you would go through and identify the charts and identify what you might recognize as an entry signal. But now you know how to run the early morning movers bullish scan. Enjoy.